Task 11.8, Transaction of AP. In this task, we will do a few transactions of AP. For example, AP invoice, AP credit notes, and also AP payment. Let's do the first transaction, which is AP invoice. You may choose to go either to AP, AP invoice entry, or you may go to AP invoice shortcut. If you right, if you left click on the AP invoice, it will bring directly to the transaction. If you right click on the AP invoice shortcut, it will bring to the AP invoice layout. You may click on the new button to add the new transaction. So let's do the first transaction of AP invoice. The creditor is supplier A. There's no agent. Supplier invoice number is 123. Invoice number just remain as default. The date is 11 of current month and also current year. Click the plus sign to add the column. The purchase account is purchases. Description just remain as default and the amount is 1000 ringgit. As you can see here, once we add a new column, automatic the system will label the text type is PS6. This is as follow the default that we already set in our text code maintenance. Even though without you select any of purchase account, it will be automatic choose based on the default that we select but you can always change the text type accordingly now automatic the text is 60 ringgit and the next total is 1060 ringgit you may enter the description below as purchase and please check for proceed new ap invoice as we have another two transactions of invoice we need to record Click on save. Let's do the second transaction. The creditor is to supplier B. Supply invoice number is 456. Invoice number set as default running. The date is 12th of current month. Click the plus sign to add a column. Purchase accounts. Also the same which is purchases. Description remain as default and the amount is 1200. If you refer to the cost book of task 11.8 for the second AP invoice to supplier B for the text type is changed to P10 which is purchase tax 10%. So this purchase is 10%. And automatically you can see the tax rate is 120 ringgit. Click the plus sign to add another row. The second purchases is also purchase. Description is purchase and the amount is 1300. And for the text type, also we need to change to P5. So this purchase item is 5%. And the tax rate is already changed to 65 ringgit. So once you already check and the net total is 2,685 ringgit, you may click on save. Let's record the last transaction to supplier C. The supplier invoice number is 789 and the date is 13th of current month. Click the plus sign to add the column. The purchase accounts also same, which is purchase. Description remain as default and the amount is 900 ringgit. But this purchase not involved with any tax code. So we just click on clear. And you can see the tax also already becomes zero. So the net total is only 900 ringgit. 
and since this is the last transaction please uncheck and click on save now we have done ap invoice let's do the second transaction of ap which is ap credit note since we only have one credit note entry we click on shortcut of ap credit note the creditor is supplier a the cn type is discount the description is discount received you may copy and paste under the same reason the cn number follow default the date is 16 of current month supplier cn number is cn dash one two three and supply invoice number is one two three you may click the plus sign to add the new column the credit account will be discount receive description just remain as default and the amount is 80 ringgit as you can see here, the tax rate is 4 ringgit 80 cent, which is PS6, 6% tax rate. So once you're already done and checked, you must make sure that there's no unapplied amount here. So once you're already done, enter the amount and check for the tax rate, then check the box to not off, and you will see the unapplied amount already become zero. You must make sure that the proceed new AP credit note box is unchecked. Then click on save. Done with AP credit note. The last transaction is AP payment. Since AP payment only have one transaction, so we go to AP payment shortcut. Now creditor, we pay to our supplier A. Description is payment on account and the date we select is 27 of current month. Payment method we pay via our bank account and our check number is 123456. The payment amount you may refer to the outstanding from the original invoice which is 975 ringgit 20 cent. So we enter the full amount. 975 ringgit 20 cent you will see the unapplied amount here you must make sure that unapplied amount is zero so what you need to do you have to check the box and automatic you will see the outstanding has become zero so once we have done must make sure that proceed new ap payment also unchecked then click on save And that's all for task 11.8.